This is Eric Lane Barnes. The author of the critically acclaimed Fairy Tales, which received numerous awards in Chicago and New York and played in London's West End. His show, The Stops, has played in numerous cities across the USA, garnering Best Musical at the International Gay and Lesbian Theater Festival in 2006. Choral compositions of great stages all over US, Canada, UK, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and China. This tall, bald fellow directs two senior choruses in Seattle and Bellevue and works in numerous senior residencies, providing a variety of musical experiences. Since 2018, he has been the director of music at East Shore Unitarian Church, and also the co-founder and one quarter of Princess Guy's Seattle's most fabulous vocal quartet. Please welcome Eric Lane Barnes. Hello. I am Eric Lane Barnes. I am a uh, cisgender white male. I am about six feet two when I stand. And I'm bald, I'm wearing glasses, and my shirt has planets all over it. That is me. Um, Charlotte's Web really affected me as a kid. And I love the story, and everyone loves the story, but the thing that affected me the most was the fact that I cared about a spider. And I thought, even as a kid, I thought, that is amazing. How did he do that? Because I hated spiders. I feared them. The smallest spider would send me running. I, I was so arachnophobic. So the fact that I not only cared about a spider, but I cried when she died, that's amazing. That's an, an amazing talent for a writer. So uh, the story that I wrote into a song is completely true. And I want to tell you the outline of the story because it goes by so fast. I'm not sure if it's going to make every point. So uh, in 1991, I was doing summer stock in Door County, Wisconsin. Yes. And <laughs> Door County, Wisconsin is um, it's on a peninsula and there's all these lakes and everything. And there are spiders freaking everywhere. It is like spider county. And you could not go anywhere without brushing away webs and brushing spiders off of your hands. And so this is 1991. Nobody had cell phones, and we all had to check our answering machines every night. There's one phone in the lodge that all of the cast, all of the crew, everybody had to use. We all had to share. So it was this one phone that led me to a phone booth out in a field where all of these events transpired. Suddenly, I'm Carol King. <laughs> in the middle of Wisconsin, in the middle of July, I was doing summer stock. We were nestled between trees, finger lakes, and bees, with rowboats tied on a humble dock. We stayed in rustic cabins and we hung out at the lodge. The single phone we shared was avocado green. And every night, every actor and musician and crew would land in line to check their answering machines. Because you never knew who might call. One night post-show, the line was moving extra slow. I thought, is this the only phone? Then I remembered that I'd earlier espied a phone booth down the road, standing alone. I struck forth in the night, the phone booth light had achieved my triumphant destination. I punched in my number and cast Casually looked up and I was seized with shock and trepidation. For I saw an army of spiders, venomous and vile, each swinging by an evil thread. Their billion beady eyes were, I'm sorry, Billion beady eyes, that's the note I meant to hit. Their billion beady eyes were plotting my demise by planning on landing on my head. I did the only thing 
a sane adult would do. I ran screaming out into the gloom. Knock, knock, who's there? A tarantula's lair. I will never, ever go back into that tomb. It's like Chekhov's phone booth. For the next several days, I wandered in a haze, done in by the dangling arthropods. I saw spiders everywhere, on every window, every chair. They filled the theater's aisles and esplanades. Amid cabin, lodge, and stage, this arachnid rampage persisted like a waking nightmare. No matter where I'd hide me, some spider sit beside me and fixed me with her wicked, hangry stare. But one night as I sat waiting, I found myself debating, was that phone booth really that scary? Though there were spiders galore, they were more or less decor, and honestly, they weren't all that hairy. With temerity and doubt, I headed out, drunk on the recklessness of youth. Determined to best this infernal nest, my windmill, the midnight phone booth. I opened the door, I looked up and saw a shelter for creatures tolerant and zen in itsy bitsy habitats. Their woven webs were luncheonettes, capturing mosquitoes and gnats. As I marveled at them all, I started to recall a book I'd enjoyed as a boy. This was not some witch's brew, these were characters I knew. Nelly, Aranya, and Joy. Ever since that night, thanks to E.B. White, I no longer search and destroy. I now welcome in Charlotte's kith and kin, Nelly, Aranya, and Joy. My friends Nelly, Aranya, and Joy. Thank you. Eric Lane Barnes, thank everyone. You, thank you, thank you.